Are we ready to explore Shy Guy's toy box, everybody? Because I am! Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario! And this is one of my favorite worlds in the game. And there's, like, hidden panels everywhere, as well as invisible blocks everywhere. Oh, okay. I'm on top of it. Oh, speaking of which... Okay, I only have room for one thing. Not exactly what I wanted, but alright. Oh, oops. New enemies need Goombario. This is a shy guy. They're ne'er-do-wells. Ne Big-time rascals. No good. When was the last time you heard the phrase ne'er-do-wells? Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They occasionally do acrobatic attacks that have an attack power of 3. Who knows what lies in the hearts of these troublemakers. I guess they're dangerous, but they're pretty small time. This seems like a good opportunity to show off the newest ability, Star Storm. It insta-kills all enemies in this world. Looks like a shooting star, and it basically is, except it deals an extra one damage, which is all the difference. And I love money money. Oh boy, this guy. This guy. So this is anti-guy. You'll see he's guarding that chest. There is a really good badge in that chest. However, there are two ways to get it. You either have to fight him, and he's one of the most, like, terrifying enemies in the game. Or, if you've got a special item called Lemon Candy, he'll actually give you the chest for free. But, on the other hand, he gives you a lot of EXP. So I'm just trying to figure out, do I fight him now or wait a bit? I'm not fighting him at least right now, but... Oh boy, these guys... All Shy Guys have 7 HP, it's important to know that. These are Groove Guys! This is a Groove Guy! Groove Guys wear weird clothes. They're probably stage clothes. Psh, you know performers. Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They shake their booties to call in reinforcements. They also spin around in front of you and make you feel dizzy. These rock and rollers are a drag, so let's ditch them as fast as we can. Yeah, these guys are annoying. It's hard to know if they're going to do the regular attack or if they're going to make you dizzy. They can also call in reinforcements, so that's no good, so let's just kill them before they can. Ooh, money, money, money. I love being rich. Alright, this is like the main playroom area. Lots of Shy Guys in here. Oh yes. This item. The item that's used for like 50% of recipes. <laughs> I'm not even really joking. Also, you don't have to tattle on the different colored Shy Guys. They're all just Shy Guys. I actually think that attack is more dangerous than their free attack, like their attack that deals free damage, because at least that one's very easy to guard against. Yep, we get cake mix. Mix used to bake tasty cakes, restores 1 FP. By itself it's terrible, but... You can use it in recipes. A lot of recipes to get some really good ones. Okay. Remember how Rolf was missing his calculator? Well, this guy has it. And I gotta say, there's just something about Red Shy Guys that's really cool looking. Where? Man, they haven't shown off their acrobatic attack. They normally, like, spam that to no end. And we get the calculator! The calculator from Rolf's bed shop. Return it to him. Alright. 
There are lots of shy guys in here. Some have mushrooms. One is a fire flower. There's another one with cake mix in here. Unfortunately, we're out of item inventory space, so we've got to leave. Also, there are plenty of invisible blocks you can get in here. I don't remember where they all are. So I'm going back to Totem to return Rolf's calculator and store some stuff. Oh, that's right. Stolen storeroom key. Guess uh, I better go to the other Toad Town shop. Do, 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 do. Makes me sad because once we beat this world, this music never plays again. Sorry, bud, I had to close up shop. Somebody each other stole my calculator. Well, here you go. Hey, buddy! Isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, in your face, shy guy. I can open my shop again. Oh man, how can I repay you? I know, take this. This is a special badge, bud, so use it with care. We get the I Spy badge, the sound and icon alert you to a nearby hidden panel. This is the badge I was talking about that lets you find the star pieces in the ground easily. Dad says we would have gone out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. Seriously? We can open the shop again, all because of you. Thank you, mister. Learn to do math on in your head, or at least on paper. It's not that hard, especially when your customers pay an exact change. <sighs> Alright. Quake Hammer's really not going to help me out in this world a whole lot, so I'll unequip that and equip I Spy. I could unequip Speedy Spin, I know, but... It's such a good method of transportation. Hey, dude. I think I might just store, like, all of my items here. Definitely in my cake mix. That should be good. I need, like, a few items, obviously, but... Shy Guys Toy Box, you get a ton of items in. I mean, like, a ton, especially if you go out of your way to find all the invisible blocks. And you know what they say, free items give you money if you've got the refund badge. And I know, it's amazing, I haven't gone and done a ton of side quests in between Forever Forest and this world. It's amazing. So let me see if I can remember where some of these invisible blocks are. Yep, there's one! And we get the stone cap. Turns Mario to stone and makes him unable to move for a while. That'll be helpful at... Actually, that'll be really helpful against Anti-Guy. He's the gray shy guy. Who's guarding the chest. There we go. Knew there was one there. Oh, I've already been for that area, so... Also, there are quite a few in this room. Oh, come on. I know there are some in here. I thought they were in the dead center of the room, but maybe not. And you know what? Forget it. That block only has, a, like, a fright jar in it anyways. And you do get something in this world that helps you see the invisible blocks. It's not just, like, up to random chance, which is good. Alright, let's go down here. Oh, boy. Perfect. Mario really hates these guys, so he'll run. Will they really scare him? They seem pretty weak. I'm getting a little suspicious of what Peach tells us. Well, it doesn't matter. King Bowser ordered it. And he's the boss. So that Goomba's all on his own. Poor guy. Oh yeah, I could also show off Bo's new ability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I just realized I didn't even have to do that. There we go, there's their acrobatic move. If you don't do the action command, they get applause instead. I probably should have saved my FP there. Oh, I should have gone to Rolf's Bad Shop and bought some stuff. Oh, uh, well. We'll be going back to Toad Town many times in this area. Jack in the Box is usually creepy, but in this, not so much. Very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. That is not the move you were doing, but okay. This is a Sky Guy. Sky Guys are master balloonists. Max HP 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. We can attack the balloon too. Once they fall, they're just like normal Shy Guys. I wish I had a balloon so I could float. That looks awesome! This isn't Putt-Putt and Pep's Balloonorama. Ouch, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually gonna eat my... Not my spaghetti, I'll eat my fried shroom, though. Because at this point in the game, the fried shroom really stinks. And I need the money. Actually, no, I don't. I do not need the money at all. I've got almost 400 coins, but I like money. Yeah, I'll show this off. You're welcome. Take this, shy guys. As cool... But Dana, how cool would it be to just live in a toy box like this? It would be pretty awesome. <sighs> I wish... I... <laughs> I love money, money, and payoff. Best batches in the game. Aw. Star piece behind there. Hey, Paracarry, let's go. Also, quite a few star pieces in this world as well. Especially if you take into effect returning all of the stuff to the Toad Town citizens from the Shy Guys. That's right. Nice little flight, but for it we get- Aw, oh, just a thunderbolt! <laughs> oh, Mario? I have to fight Mario? By myself? Why me? I'm toast, but I have to try. Feel my, uh, wrath, I guess. <laughs> so long, Goomba. <laughs> and that's what happens when you beat an enemy when, uh, wow. <laughs> money Money gave me two coins, so he was only gonna give me one. And for that, we get the storeroom key. Yeah, if you beat an enemy who's like, way worse than you are, and they give you zero star points, that's what it... That's what happens. Yeah, you can just see how many items we're getting in this world. It's amazing. And we're about to get a lot more. 
Oh, Mario, it's you. It's Shy Guy stole my storeroom key. I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world will I do? Well, I found it for you, bud. All right, Mario! You did it! You got back my storeroom key! Thank you so much! You saved my livelihood! Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back, so he's letting us basically steal from the back room of the store. Awesome! Dizzy Dial, Toy Train, Volt Room, and Snowman Doll. The Toy Train is a key item, not like a regular item. Welcome to Harry's shop, how can I help you? You can check a few of my stuff. Actually, just check my snowman doll. I can only carry one more item now, <laughs> just from all this, and I even ate my fried shroom, so yeah. And my storeroom is actually filling up very fast. Hey, Rolf. Yes! Jump charge! When charged, Mario's jump power goes up by two. Then double dip. During battle, let's use two items during one turn. Oh, only one BP is needed? Cool. Then group focus lets Mario's party members use the focus command as well. I knew it, Mario. That's the group focus. Needs two BP. Well, that just lowered my, uh... <laughs> Badge count significantly. I want to see if he has any more badges for sale. So let's go out here and then just come back. He should have more badges. Unless we've cleared them all out. Oh, nope, we just cleared them all out. Alright, that's cool. Bom, bom, bom. Jump charge is like legitimately probably the most broken badge in the game. Especially if you, comp if you pair it up with Power Bounce and Dodge Master. Essentially, just like charging a few turns and doing a power bounce. Yeah, you can pretty much kill anything. Oh, whoops, I forgot. You gave the storeroom key back to the storekeeper? He must have been super happy. Happier than I am, anyways. There's still no train, so I guess I don't have a job. Hey, dude, I've got a toy train. Look, we can't very well ride on a tiny little toy train. It'd be impossible. Put that back in its toy box. Yeah, there's no train here. Well? Here's actually a legit little puzzle. If we actually walk up to the toy box. There you go. There's your train. I guess jumping on that trampoline is what shrinks you then. Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks! Public transit's up and running! I want to go this way. That's the only way we can go. You can use the switches in front of the station to choose the train's direction. Just let me know when you've decided which direction you want to go, okay? All aboard! Where would you like to go? Pink station. And notice that's pink font. We're leaving all aboard! Next stop, Pink Station! Now arriving at Pink Station! Pink Station! So there are four different stations in Shy Guy's toy box. You take the train from one to the other. Station stop, Pink Station! Welcome to Pink Station, passengers! And that's the alert that lets you know there's a hidden panel in the room. Also, if we open this up, we get the mailbag! A bag full of letters, return it to the post office. But not before re reading Luigi's mail out loud. Sweet. I still have Goombario out because there are just so many enemies in this area. So many new ones that we haven't even tattled on. Like that guy! <laughs> no, they're not called Fry Guys. That would have been... funny. Oh boy, these guys are dangerous. Oh boy, two new enemies! Okay. 
Yep, spy guys. This is a spy guy. Spy guys look like they're ready for war in their spiffy camouflage gear. Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They change their weapons each time they're attacked. You'd best try to avoid their hammer attack. Every time you're hit by it, you'll lose one of your commands. Well, for forget that. We're just going to power smash you to pieces. Medi guy. This is a Medi guy. Medi guys are the emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. We'd better hurry up and take them out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing all the damage we do. Can they heal themselves, I wonder? Doesn't appear so. Cool. Goodbye, Medi guy. Money, 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 money! Mario's basically turning into Scrooge. Oh yeah, and coming up, it is the fattest shy guy you will ever lay your eyes on. I thought there was an invisible block over there. Huh. Everyone calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why, I'm just an ordinary food-loving shy guy. <sighs> I'm hungry. Yeah, nothing we give him he'll like. He's picky. That's Gourmet Guy. Wow, he's huge! Does this guy ever stop eating? It looks like he'd eat until his stomach blew up. <laughs> the more I look at Gourmet Guy, the more hilarious that is. Because <laughs> you're used to Shy Guys being like the little tiny enemies. And there's just like a uh, obese guy in the Shy Guy output. Sorry if that offends somebody, but I, I thought it was just funny. So we can't get past him just yet. But we can still go this way. Thunder Rage! That's a great item. I keep forgetting they don't use their swing shots to get the first strike. Yeah! I should use some of these items. Let's try the Dizzy Dial. Alright. I did not want to select the balloons, but alright. <laughs> That's what happens when that happens. Woot! Less damage. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you'll notice I, I'm sorry I did not go over Bo's new ability. Spook! Surprise enemies and scare them away from the fight. It's literally just a fright jar, only as an ability. Nice going, Bo. Dun 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 <laughs> the Shy Guys, when they're dizzy, look hilarious. Slap, 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 slap. We're still at the point where I'm getting decent experience off of these guys. I'm sorry, star points. Yeah, you'll notice we're just, like, not using Cooper or Paracarry at all. That's not a coincidence, they're just not terribly great. Alright, let's try a Sleepy Sheep this time. Sleepy Sheep, because I've got Lullaby, really aren't that great. Well, we better kill this guy. Thank you, Bo. Medi guys are some of the easier uh, enemies to defend against.
I gotta show this off. <laughs> I think it's always funny when you kill a guy just by doing that. And here, we get the Defend Plus Badge decreases the damage Mario takes by one. So it's basically like Damage Dodge, except it always works. And it takes twice the BP. No thank you. Oh yeah, it's this part. Thank you. I couldn't jump over him. The ceiling was too small. <laughs> ah, two coins. Ooh, this is a good item in here. We get the Ice Power Badge. Increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Also, that badge lets you jump on top of enemies that are made of fire and you won't take damage. Little known fact, but it's true. And we get the frying pan! Tasty's frying pan, return it to her. Yes! Please, I need her to cook some stuff for me. Nah. All those shy guys are literally just one shy guy. They're really not worth fighting. Where would you go? We're going back to Blue Station, because we can't go forward to Green Station. The track is broken. Ah, boy. Also, now that we've got the frying pan, this is the part of the game where Volt Shrooms actually become really good, believe it or not. Oh, hang on. Oh, sweet! I can withdraw a few items? Well, I will do just that. Welcome to Harry's shop! I'm here to claim some items. Oh yeah, the dried fruit! I forgot about that. For example, the strange leaf. I have a stopwatch in here? Oh, I should use that. I'm hogging all my snowman dolls. There's a reason. They're really good against the boss of the fifth world. Like, really good. <laughs> Plus, they're very entertaining to use in general. Much better than the ice storms from Paper Mario 2. Oh, hello there, hun. I'm afraid I can't cook now. Here's your frying pan. Oh, Mario! My dear, dear frying pan! You saved it from the Shy Guys! Thank you so much, Mario! For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. Tra la 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 la! Oh my, you're carrying too much. You can't possibly take this cake with you right now. Come back when you have fewer fiends, okay, hon? Hmm. I've got plenty of mushrooms, and they're easy enough to get. Here's the cake! And we get the cake! Tasty cake baked by Taste Tea. Restores 15 FP. This is my most delicious cake. One taste of it won my late darlings from the heart. Aw. I swore I would never make it again, but you're very special, Mario. Just one bite will make anyone go gaga. So that's what we're giving to Gourmet Guy. Also... Because that doesn't actually count as a recipe, we have to make that cake again with the cake mix. <laughs> so first she said, this is like my best cake ever, and now she's like, this recipe's not too bad. And now we're gonna cook with the strange leaf. Oh, it didn't? Okay, apparently some recipes won't work unless you get the cookbook. Alright, well I know this one does. Cook my Volt Shroom. Cooking Volt Shrooms 
is actually a very good recipe. There's an even better one later on, though. The recipe's not too bad. We get the Hot Shroom! Snack made by Taste Tea restores 15 HP and 5 FP. I think that was all the stuff we could cook with. Yeah. Still have spaghetti. I gotta eat that spaghetti soon. Alright, I know I'm running out of time for this episode, but we at least have enough time to uh, make Gourmet Guy happy. We're going to Pink Station! Ooh, nice animation on that little button. I never even noticed that. Boop, boop, boom, 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 boom. I swear there's an item in there. Well, I'll just come back to these after I get that ability to see invisible blocks! No, Spy Guy. No, thank you. I've already fought you. Hey, Gourmet Guy. I'm too hungry to move. I'm famished. I must eat. I need a sweet, sweet cake. Sweet cake with frosting and cookie crumbles. That's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten! Ech! My delicious palate is too refined to eat this stuff. I can eat only food of the highest quality, or I might gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food as this. Well, I mean, to be fair, a mistake is pretty disgusting. Here's your cake! Oh! Oh, ma'am! Oh! Delicious! This is lip smacking good. Yum! That was quite the spectacle. And now we get the cookbook! A book gourmet guy dropped to show it to a good cook. That will revolutionize taste tea, believe me. And we get a super soda. <laughs> okay. That's not very good. That's like a tad better than honey syrup. Oh! Ah! This is not good. Pyro guy. This is a pyro guy. Pyro guys are on fire, so any contact with them will cause damage. Max HP 7, attack power 4, defense power 0. They're tough opponents, mainly because their attack power is so high. Any attacks that involve water or snow are our best bet because, well, you know. Darn it, I was gonna use Star Storm on him. And now I can't defend against attacks. Great, well. We are going to spook him out of the, our way. <laughs> no star points for that, but Dane does it look cool. And it saved my butt there, so... And look at all this money we're getting because of the payoff badge. And money money combined. Chances are if there are two blocks fairly close together, there's an invisible block in between them. Star Storm, take him out. You've been a very bad, bad boy. Do 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 six star points. Oh. Okay. 
Cooper actually is our best bet against this guy. Um, that is not what I wanted. Yo! <laughs> oh, Dane. Okay. I'm actually using my hot shroom. Yeah, look at all that money it gives you. Days and paralyze all ground enemies. That could be good. Dane, pyro guys are powerful and hard to defend against. All right, bomb back. I need your power bomb. Seven damage. Oh man, they're susceptible to explosions. That actually would have instant killed them. I love money, money. Alright, let's pull this switch. And now we can go to the next station. Okay, I just know there's an invisible block here. I actually do not remember all the invisible blocks locations. I remember all the invisible badge blocks locations, because there are quite a few of those. But not the ones that just contain items. Alright, time to kick some spy guy butt. Oh, oops. Oh, they can heal themselves. Well, we'll just have to fix that, won't we? Oh no, come on! Goodbye, Mr. Mid-Eye Guy. Hello, level up to Mario. Alright. It's time to upgrade HP. I'm not using FP in this world so much. <laughs> I'm more into items, because I have a lot of those. Alright, time to end the episode off here. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in for the next episode. We might finish Shy Guy's Toy Box? Not sure, though. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.